So we got a pretty big item to unbox today. So what you see here guys is the super solid displays XG340-R, a 34 inch 3440 by 1440 Samsung QLED VA panel that runs at 144 hertz with AMD FreeSync and Nvidia G-Sync and is from a brand in Singapore that is in prison. Okay, so if you know tech at all in Singapore, you know that there are really only two brands that make monitors. It's them, Super Solid Displays, and Prism. Prism is arguably the most famous one. It's a subsidiary of Aftershock, and the biggest competitor to Aftershock decided they wanted a piece of their pie and started their own brand more recently, Super Solid Displays. So they sent over this unit basically for me to unbox, review, and all that stuff. And it's honestly pretty exciting because I've always wanted a 21 by 9 QHD display that's ultra wide and high refresh rate and all that stuff. I've always wanted one of these. They have not paid me to say anything. Obviously, they've sent it over for me to use for a couple of months, but I have to re return this at the end of the review. Let's talk about the unboxing experience. So unboxing this monitor was unsurprisingly a challenge. It's a big hefty monitor you have to deal with. So best thing you can do is definitely ask someone for help because you don't want to be risking your brand new expensive monitor and dropping it and scratching it or something like that. So get someone else's assistance. The whole thing weighs about 9 kilograms and it's a very big clumsy thing to deal with so make sure you get some help. In terms of accessories that come in the box, it's nothing all that special but it is pretty standard. So you got all your parts to assemble the stand which was very easy to assemble by the way, it was only two screws and you get the monitor itself and you get the power cable and they have kindly provided a nice high quality DisplayPort 1.4 cable. Now I use my own DisplayPort USB-C cable so I don't need to use theirs but it's nice that they provide it. I mean, if you're using such a high-end monitor, you might as well be using DisplayPort because that's the best way to get all the features running correctly. Also, everything in here was packed very safely, so I won't be too scared about it breaking during shipping, so that's fine. Uh, if you're a bit weak, you probably need two people to do the whole assembly, but if you're someone with a little bit more strength, then you should have no problem doing it yourself. Uh, there are a few things that first kind of took me by surprise with this monitor. The first thing was that it is huge, so if you are buying an ultra-wide monitor like this, make sure you measure out your desk and measure out like the whole dimensions because it is a very big chunky monkey and it will take up a lot of space on your table. Now the thing about curved monitors is not only is it wide, it's also very deep because the curve means the screen has a lot more thickness and also behind the screen needs a lot more space for the electronics because you're spreading it out over a curved surface. So as a result, you end up with like a fatter monitor than if you just had a flat ultra wide. Now, the advantages of a curved monitor is supposedly that it's a bit more immersive and when you turn your head left and turn your head right, you know, it's kind of angled towards you no matter which direction you're looking. And as for the ultra wide monitor, the fact that it's 21 by 9 has the supposed advantage that, you know, it's like having two monitors next to each other but without a bezel in between so it's excellent for productivity, excellent for having a very immersive setup where you know it feels like you're really immersed in the whole gaming experience and all that stuff. Personally, never tried it before, excited to see what it's like, but I can see how appealing it will be to have such a ultra wide monitor. Now in terms of specs, this monitor has a curve ratio of 1500R. What that means is 1500 of these put side to side beside each other will form a perfect circle. That's how they calculate the curve of something. This is 1500R. It has a contrast ratio of 3000 to 1 which is respectable. It goes up to 350 nits which is respectable. It goes up to 144 hertz which is excellent. It has a resolution of 3440 by 1440 which is expected and it has a Samsung QLED VA panel. It's expected to perform pretty much as well as an IPS panel. Don't worry, I will be testing it with my color calibrator to make sure that the colors are right, uh, see the color accuracy, to test backlight lead and everything. It will be a very extensive review like my Prism monitor review I did in the past. But this is just a first impression video. So those are the specs. It supports FreeSync and NVIDIA G-Sync. Obviously with NVIDIA G-Sync, it doesn't have a NVIDIA G-Sync chip because it is a more budget-oriented, more value-oriented, cheaper monitor. It's pretty expensive still, but for its specs, it's considered quite cheap. So it doesn't have the dedicated G-Sync processor inside, but you can still use G-Sync with it and it will still work pretty well. It just won't be the full G-Sync experience according to NVIDIA, but it's not something that really matters, honestly.
In terms of gaming, I can see why 21 by 9 is so heavily loved. In fact, the, with this monitor, I just wish I had a racing wheel and I can play some racing games because it's so immersive with that big screen close to my face curved around me. It's definitely a good experience and I definitely do enjoy it. And in terms of productivity, it's also very good. I love the sheer amount of real estate you get with this screen. It's so much space, space and space and space and space for days that you don't have to worry about fitting what on the screen. It just has space for that. Uh, however, do be aware that if you're trying to do anything like color related, look away. It's not that the movies or videos look bad on this screen, they look pretty good still. But if you're trying to do anything sort of color grade related, just look away. It's perfectly fine. Like if you're doing any sort of work that doesn't need color, of course, have a good day. It's definitely a nice experience. But anyway, in conclusion, my first impressions of this monitor is yes, I love 21 by 9. Yes, I love the curve. Yes, I love 144 hertz. Yes, I love FreeSync. As for whether I love this monitor in particular, it's still gonna take a while for me to find out. And of course, all that will be reviewed in my in-depth review, which will probably come in like a month or two. I like testing my monitors long-term and really giving them time to show me what they can do. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys like my new presentation style. Try to keep it as short and succinct as possible. Try to keep things crisp and fun. And you know, I haven't made a YouTube video dedicated to YouTube in a while. So this is, uh, I guess, a, a haloed return. All right, anyways, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next time. Join my Discord, link in the description. Bye.